that is a bit though we've got some construction going on it is right afternoon and I want to talk about spend a few minutes talking about a question I see on a lot on action cannon groups and it's about whether to use an ND filter or not and interestingly enough I think personally it boils down to a couple of things it's whether you need motion blur or if you need stabilization so right now and this is out of convenience I am on auto so everything is on auto the shutter speed just gets cranked up it's a very bright day so the shutter speed gets cranked up and we do not get any motion blur at all if I spin around everything is just sharp and crisp right and that high shutter speed ensures that we've got the stabilization acting really well even if i jiggle the camera around stabilization is good so what i'm going to do here in a second is i'm going to switch and put on the nd filter but uh, let me just cross the road first there you go so what I've done differently now is I've got a variable ND filter here on. And that allows me to control the brightness. The ISO is on auto, it'll auto adjust. But the main difference here is that we've got motion blur now. So if we pan things around, we're gonna get a good amount of motion blur. Problem is stabilization may be wonky because the shutter speed is now lower than what it should be for shutter speed to work so the question is do you need the stabilization or do you need the motion blur that's really it if you need stabilization get rid of the nd filter if you need the motion blur you're gonna have to put on an nd filter but stabilization will suffer so So at the end of the day, it really boils down to convenience. Do you want to do you want to sacrifice stabilization? We just cross the road here, and not die. So at the end of the day, it really boils down to convenience. It is a loud intersection. So at the end of the day, it really boils down to whether you need stabilization or you prefer motion blur or if you prefer convenience because having to pop in an nd filter and take it out put it back that takes up a few minutes a couple of minutes at most and you know not having to do that and just popping not popping an nd filter just be able to crank up the shutter speed that helps a lot. So again, can you do without stabilization? Do you want the motion blur? Those would be the deciding factors. I hope that helped and clarified things and uh, see you around.